There's one simple reminder parents should take every single time they deal with their kids' toys. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another little vlog today. Today it's just, uh, completely off the uh, beaten path, but we're going to talk about kids' toys. You know, stupid things like this, uh, this little uh, turtle with lights and we got remote control cars. Um, what I really wanted to talk about was this, the first thing you should do anytime a toy isn't working right or malfunctioning, before you throw it out or try to fix it, the first thing you should always do, and we all know this, but we forget, it's put fresh batteries in it and see if it works then. Um, I've made this, this mistake, uh, I haven't really made the mistake, but what I normally do is I, I can tell if something is broken. And I have fixed so many toys in this house by taking them apart, all the screws, and finding out what's wrong with it. And that means, you know, there's usually a broken wire. Most, most of the time, it's a broken wire and it's a solder joint. It's usually called a cold solder joint. That, you know, the, the switch is either busted or there's some sort of wire uh, that usually connects to the battery pack that became undone. It either becomes frayed, kids drop these things over and over and, and even though they're pretty durable, they uh, they take a beating and eventually there's something that's just going to give way. And I've fixed so many toys and saved a lot of money. Uh, most parents what they do is uh, if it just doesn't seem like it's working they toss toss the toy. Uh, I like to see what went, what, what went wrong with it and try to fix it myself. There have been a couple toys that I did take apart and I did sort of find the error but it became just way, way too much of a time consuming, like a four hour job to rewire and put 12 new solder joints. I said it's cheaper and more time uh, effective to just buy a new one for $12. Uh, but if I can t fix it in 15 minutes or less. Um, then it's worth worth my time. But the key is, here's an example. I had this little spinning hamburger toy. It's really annoying, but the toy worked. It talked. It said, oh yeah, we're, uh, I'm your spinning hamburger or whatever, but it didn't spin. So my first thought in my head was, and this is before I remembered and, uh, and then the reason for this video was, oh man, there must be some sort of switch broken inside that's not causing the motor to spin. And I was all ready to uh, take the thing apart and fix the broken wire. And then a little light bulb went off in my head. I'm like, wait a minute. Now the audio portion requires a lot less voltage and power than the motor. So let me just double check to make sure. And lo and behold, I put new batteries in and the thing started spin spinning as you can see here. So that saved me a lot of effort, even though I took the time to get all my tools ready, my pliers, my screwdrivers, my wire cutters, my soldering iron. I was all ready, get the whole thing set up. And luckily I didn't have to do it. The new battery solved the problem and um, I was on, on with my uh, the rest of my day. But you know, a lot of parents probably throw out their toys because they don't, number one, put new batteries in. They just assume it's broken and they toss it. And number two, they probably do put new batteries in and realize it doesn't work and they never even try to fix it. It's not that hard. It's a very fun process to do, to take things apart. Um, I'm sure if you've never done it before, it could be a little bit of an overwhelming task, especially if you don't understand anything about electronics. But if you do understand about electronics, there's just, everything is a, you know, multiple pieces to a larger puzzle. And you just have to follow the dotted lines, you know, uh, battery to switch to control. It's usually really simple for a toy. So that's it. Always check by putting in fresh batteries, not some batteries from a box. Open up a new pack of batteries and put it in and I would say a good chunk of time, your problems will be solved. That's it for today. Have a good week.